recording? I am. Yeah, finally. I get to call you out on camera. Oh, the shit's getting I was dragged just about to by call you out. You I, call I called you out first. Bitch. Factory sealed. Long block. So if it f***s up, it's because it's a bitch, not because we put it together wrong. This my, this my shit. Oh, tell her you're not my bitch. This my, this my shit. Oh, tell her get off my dick. Bitchy dash, nitro gas. Time is passing. Quick, 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 quick. I just want tonight to last. Life go fast. It tick, 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 tick. Good morning, everybody. Today, we are doing something really, really cool. Let's go make some horsepower. I have been dying to hear what this car sounds like on a dyno. One, because of the Pro Charger. Two, because of the Tome Da. That, that, the Tome, this thing, ooh. And the car is probably not gonna make an impressive amount of horsepower because one, we found out recently that Gavin's dyno actually reads pretty low. We actually confirmed this with Gavin Z011LE. Whenever we dynoed it, it actually read like 540 horsepower or something like that, I think. And I think it's supposed to read closer to like 580 or 590-ish, something like that. So anyways, instead of speculating about numbers, let's just go ahead and get in the car. I'm gonna head to the shop, put this thing on the dyno. I wanna see what she does. Today we're gonna to be working with limo tuning. The car has already been tuned and it feels really good. We took it to autocross. I might have revved it a little bit higher than I was expecting to and it, it held up really well and it felt really good. The car's making some steam. This car could blow up today. I have no idea if this car is gonna blow up. I have no idea what the condition of this engine is. I got this engine off the internet. We slapped it in here. This is the third engine that's actually been in the car, which shame on me for blowing up the other two engines. But so anyways, I'm at the shop a little bit early. Nobody's really here yet. We got like another 30 minutes before anybody else shows up. So at that point, we'll get back. Ooh, the Miata. Oh, you're recording? I oh, am. Yeah, finally. I get to call you out on camera. Oh, the shit's getting I was dragged just about to by call a Miata. You out. You I, was call I called you, you out first. Bitch. Gavin's been talking some mad shit now that he picked up some pre-built turbo Miata. Oh. Didn't even build it yourself. Oh, a turbo you did Miata. Fix it. You oh, just fixed a it. turbo Miata. Oh, yeah. man. Oh. Dang. Yeah, shit. Oh. That car actually just made on the same dyno. Oh, okay. Damn. Drift car. That Miata actually made, I think, a peak of, what did it make, like 320 horsepower? Something like that? Oh uh, shit, Dan, everybody's I against me. I called Daniel out a long time ago, and for some reason he still thinks that he's gonna beat the Miata, even though that car made 50 more horsepower than his car is going to. But that's okay. Gavin's talking mad shit. The only advantage you have is weight, which we going which is a big advantage. I know that, but we gonna see how well it goes. So that's gonna be a 320 horsepower turbo Miata against whatever the fuck that car is gonna make on the dyno. And we're gonna see how it goes. It's probably gonna be the first race that that car has after this video. The Pro Charge fifth gen Camaro that Gavin has had since I first made my channel and he first made his channel. We were gonna race that, but. It's getting so close to the end of his giveaway that now it's just a little bit risky to race the two. Uh, it'd be kind of hard to fix if something were to go wrong, so it's probably not gonna happen. I wanted it to happen. Everybody else wanted it to happen. I know you guys hurt. I'm hurt. It sucks, but just really don't want to break somebody else's car before it, you know, it goes to them. So I promise there's plenty of other cars in here that Zoe will eventually have a good match against. What? What do you mean plenty of other cars in here? Like what? Well, that one could get turboed eventually one day. This car is going to be real fun to race once that's running. Fucking 6th gen Camaro is going to be pretty sick to race. I'll probably end up racing the black car. Oh, and then, oh, this thing. You've been talking a lot of shit with this truck, too. This, this will will eventually be racing these two. Listen to what does. What? <laughs> truck, this truck is just going to gap your ass. I know that everything's going to gap me. I'm not saying my shit's fast. Daniel, listen what? to me. Listen to me. No, you don't like this guy. Start that truck. Cut that man off. He don't need to talk shit. He ain't got room. Oh, that bitch is loud. That makes sense. How many pounds do you have? About eight. I'm gonna, guess, I'm gonna give you 333 wheel horsepower. I think on this dyno, it'll probably make about 350. Now that we know that it's 
333 because our dyno is kind of a heartbreaker. 333. What do you think? This kit is supposed to make about 370 to 380, so I'm going to guess about 358. 10 pounds can usually touch about right at 400, so I think. And so eight. how many pounds right now? Eight? About eight, seven or eight. I'm going to say 355. Ooh, so we're missing a battery cover, so that's weight reduction. And then on top of that, we have AC delete, no heater, there's no heater core. Like literally every single thing possible on this car that can be taken out and have the car still running, it has been taken out. What engine is this? The DE. It's a DE. No, is this your third one? Oh yeah, that's my third engine. Factory sealed, long block. So if it fucks <laughs> up, it's because it's a bitch, not because we put it together wrong. no timing <laughs> there was a little mishap the car might not have made 380 horsepower the rpms were not reading correctly to start with but we got a fix now we're going to rerun it and see what the car is actually making we data logged the first one so that way we can still send it to the sooner and make sure things are good which i checked afr everything's looking good now we're going to run it again and see what we make The car did actually make 380 horsepower, which is pretty fucking cool. I didn't know the car was going to make 10 pounds of boost. That's awesome. So the first one we made 10 pounds. Last one we made 9.5 pounds of boost. So pretty solid. Yeah. That's real solid. I'm pretty happy with that. Woo! 380 horsepower is definitely what I was expecting to make at the end of the day, at most. So it's probably truly making about 430, 420 right now. All right, so a few hours later, we got the revision and I'm going to upload the tune and we'll be good for another data log. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's up, dude? How, how you doing? We got a, we got a creeper. <laughs>
that food? I don't know. We're at eight and a half, eight-ish pounds of food. Making 362. That one definitely dropped off. Like for sure compared to before. I would say belt slip, but you know, it gets cogs, so. Well, no, it still does run off of a uh, six foot right here, but I'd be surprised if it had belt slip making this low amount of boost. Same. Weird. It definitely fell off the top side there. With boost? That. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it should have kept climbing where it did last time. Something, huh. something definitely changed a little bit there up top. That is weird. It didn't like it. So here we go. We're going to do take two, but take two again. Didn't really know why we were down a pound on boost from the first run. I was surprised that it was 10 pounds already. But then after making 10 pounds and then making eight and a half pounds, something was different. Something changed. So I went around, checked all the clamps. I found that this clamp actually was a little bit looser than the rest of them. I could move it a little bit, but it wasn't enough to pop off a, a coupler. So I don't know. We're gonna run it again because we did get a revision for 10 pounds of boost, and um, it only had, was at like 10.5 AFR. So we're gonna see if we can actually get a good run and make 10 pounds of boost this time. We'll see how it goes. I've talked to him mood tuning. He's pretty happy with where the car is at. We don't want to go crazy with adding a bunch of timing to it, trying to squeeze every bit of horsepower out of this because it is supposed to be a reliable build. Maybe not reliable build as far as how it's put together, but reliable horsepower wise. We're not trying to squeeze everything it's got. And actually, the car made more power on the previous revision. So we're gonna go ahead and flash on the old tune, not the old tune, but the one it had on before where it made 390 horsepower. And then after that, I think we're gonna call it quits. We're pretty happy with where it's at. And now the car officially makes 390 wheel horsepower. Hey, since I'm sponsored by Corsa 2, check this out. check out Corsa. If you want a fucking cool exhaust for your car, Corsa Performance. They're the ones. Holy fuck, dude. That hell is loud. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Almost 400 horsepower out of a DE on 93. Boy, with a supercharger. Oh, damn. You already got to push this thing in the shop yet? We didn't even get to race? Damn, What'd you do to it? Huh? How many engines you been through? Man, how many engines you been through? Less than you. False. True. False. How many you had in that one car? Three. How many you had in that one black car? Three. I thought you had like five. Oh, wait. Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so many noises. Ah. 
But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a thumbs up on the video for me. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And especially if you wanna see more videos of that car. Next video, we're actually gonna be racing Gavin's Miata that makes about 320 horsepower or so versus this 390 horsepower car. Should be pretty interesting. So you can look forward to that. So anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys next time.